Good morning, everyone. We are at the Atlantic News Park here in Delray Beach. Thought I'd come and show you the beach here and spend the morning with you. So, all right, so when you come to the beach here, you can pay to park at um, the parking lot here, or you can download the app and just pay for it right here. And what I like about this, so I still have an hour left, but you can hit the extend button and you can add more time. So I always say start with an hour and then just add more time. And then you're just gonna walk across the street here and enjoy the beach. Really quickly, if you come to the beaches here in Florida, always use the crosswalk here push the buttons if you don't know this there's some lights on the ground here and they light up and you're supposed to stop but beach goers beware the drivers don't always stop or they don't really know that you're supposed to or they don't see the lights or the lights aren't working so always double check but I like parking over here because it's a it's shaded so after a hot day on the beach, it's nice to come here and just walk the path. It's really peaceful here. We've got some bathrooms here up on the path, which is really, really nice. And what I like about this area too, is it's very um, handicap friendly. I'll show you here in a minute why that is. So here's the bathrooms. All right, so if you come over here, you don't have to take the stairs, but there is, you can see there's some handicapped parking here, which is really nice, really close to the beach. And then there's just a nice little peaceful walkway here. It's pretty much shaded, like I said, after spending the day on the beach. It's really nice to have where it's, it's shaded. So here you can see the parking lot for the handicap, a better view. So if you are in a wheelchair, you can go right here to this ramp. And I'll show you, it takes you over here. There's some people standing here, so hold on. Show you so there's a little pathway here that you can sit. If you're handicapped, it's very nice. Let someone walk through. And then here is the beach. Let him walk through here a little bit. So then you can come all the way down here. And then there's this um, blue, I don't know what you want to call it, flooring ramp here so the flag is yellow today so perfect day for the beach and it takes you pretty much all the way to the sand so it's very nice if you if you are handicapped or need that extra all right let me set up here all right so we're all set up here i must just show you what's in my beach bag give you some ideas after living in florida for a year you know when we first came to the beach i'd bring everything and it was just so much work. And now I just bring the essentials. So the first bag, of course, is some sunscreen. And I'd always bring a brush and a hair tie. Then in this bag, I, I like to keep everything in bags in the beach bag because it keeps the sand from getting on everything. 
but we have, you know, the umbrella for the phone. I always bring some Tide sticks, some electrolytes, hand sanitizer. I always bring a little bottle of the healing ointment in case my lips start to burn or someone's lips start to burn. It does also have SPF in it. Always bring a garbage bag for your garbage and some napkins. And then in this bag is some, oops. So anyway, I always bring a Kindle to read. I feel like I like real books, I like the feel of real books, but the Kindle's really nice on the beach. It, the sun glare protection on it. Uh, you don't get sand all in it, doesn't get wet. Phone, obviously, keys. And now let me show you this that just fell. So this is a tiny little speaker. I got it off of Amazon. Um, the last I checked, it was like $17 for the black one. It's uh, Bluetooth and then it comes with this little case. You don't even have to take it out of this case after you turn it on because it has like a little speaker uh, holes in there. So very nice, uh, light and portable. And then my last bag I have, I just keep all my equipment in it. Here is the beach bag. I've had this bag forever. Roxy, it's a little pricey at first, but this thing is probably five years old and it looks brand new. And then one last thing I always bring to the beach, and this is worth every penny, you guys, is this uh, sand remover. So it's like a puff filled with, uh, I would say that it's like powder, but it's talic free. So what you do is like when you're done and you're going up back up, you know, to your car, you just use this on your legs and feet and it takes all the sand off worth every penny i think it was like 15 dollars wasn't too expensive and then i am loving these water bottles these are amazing i'm gonna say it wrong oala is that how you say it anyway this is great uh, a great bottle for disney the beach out and about I'm going to try to take this lid off so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so I got the lid off, but you see that straw is built into the, um, right into the cap and you don't even have to tilt the, tilt it or anything. You just, it just, you use it like a straw. It's so crazy, but this is great. It keeps everything cold for a long time. Alrighty. So in a little bit, we'll go walk the beach and look around. All right, one last thing I like to bring to the beach. This is a great thing for Disney, especially if you're a little kid, you have a stroller. This um, little fan literally will mold around whatever surface you need to be on. Uh, you can put it on your chair, you can put it up on your umbrella here and have it blowing down. It does have like three settings. It's so nice. Now it's kind of breezy today at the beach, um, but if it were to get extremely hot, I would probably have this on. It lasts a long time. It was on sale for $13, so definitely would uh, recommend doing this, especially if you have little kids going to the park. And then you can hold it too, so it all comes together and you can hold it as a personal fan. All right, so we are walking on the beach here. You can see up ahead there's some like cabana things here i think that's part of the beach club um but when we come back i'll show you some chairs that you can actually rent on the beach now there's somebody fishing over here so if i would not swim by him because <laughs> he's going to be drawing in some some ocean life if you don't know this already, don't ever swim by a pier either. There's not a pier here in Delray, but when people are fishing off a pier, again, you can, you have the chance of having some unwanted ocean life swimming near you. Um, so yeah, if someone's fishing and stuff in the ocean, I wouldn't really swim by them. You just never know what they're gonna attract. 
and I'll stop talking here for a minute so you can enjoy the beach. The water is perfect. It's not too warm yet. It's cool enough to to cool you off, be refreshing, but it's not shockingly cold. You see in the distance there, I don't know if you can see it. There's a, quite a number of boats out there. Over here, there's nothing. Maybe way in the distance, there's two. I see two boats. Perfect day out right now. There's a lot of boats over there. It might be fishing boats. Look at how beautiful this apartment or condo building is. That is absolutely beautiful. Right here on the water. Down there you got some hotels and stuff and condo buildings on the water there. So this is the Delray uh, Beach here. We're at the Atlantic Green area. Um, it's very handicap friendly. Um, down farther down there are some more public beaches in Delray. And every parking lot has a bathroom which is so nice. so beautiful. Trying to see if we can see any little fish. Sometimes they come up here. So there in the distance, you see those blue and white uh, umbrellas with the chairs. You can actually rent those on the beach. Um, there's, see this way over here? I'll try to go over there because they're right next to me. So if you see right here, it says Oceanside Beach Service. You can rent these chairs and umbrellas. And right here is where you would um, purchase them kind of nice sometimes you can actually go online and purchase them out for like if you're gonna be here for two weeks um, and do it ahead of time if you've ever come to the beach and you've wondered what these roped off areas are you can see quite a few of them on the beach these are turtle nests so they they rope them off for them to be safe and this is just one little section of the beach there's a whole bunch over here I've never seen any of the turtles ever hatch I would love to be down here so I have to come down here one day in the evening and see if we can ever see him so here's a sign do not disturb sea turtle nest. Violators are subject to fines and imprisonment. So don't mess with those. It's so cool to see. There's so many of them. I don't know if you guys can see all the way down there, but it's so cool. I would love to be here one day to watch. So maybe I'll have to like Google what time of the year turtle nest and try to make it down here in, this, in the dust. There is nobody here. Right here on this strip of beach. Absolutely beautiful.
that's an interesting shawl. That's really cool. Sometimes you come to beach towns too, you'll notice that the lights um, up against the beach, the street lights are orange. It's for the turtles and so the eggs and it's all just kind of like dim and stuff. Encourages them. And we have a few other little shells here. take shells off of um, Florida beaches. I know when we went to like the Dominican Republic, a couple islands, a couple countries don't allow you to take shells off anything off their island, but you can take some shells here in, in Delray. There's a lot of shells and after storms, there's the beach is just filled, filled with shells. I just love parking over here, other than the lawnmowers and stuff. It's after a long day at the beach. It's so shady over here, walking back to the car. You don't have to be like beaten down with the Florida sun on you. And there's some bathrooms here. Every parking lot has a bathroom, but I just love it. And like I pointed out before, there's a handicap section. So it's so easy for people who are in wheelchairs or need help to be able to enjoy the beach. I just love parking over here, other than the lawnmowers and stuff. It's after a long day at the beach. It's so shady over here, walking back to the car. You don't have to be like beaten down with the Florida sun on you. And there's some bathrooms here. Every parking lot has a bathroom, but I just love it. And like I pointed out before, there's a handicap section. So it's so easy for people who are in wheelchairs or need help to be able to enjoy the beach.